think you're going to get a shot. Hi friends, welcome to Bird Dogs Afield TV. We've got a great episode for you today. You know, when I need a, a pointing dog fix, when I want to see absolutely the best, I take my annual trip up to Stark, New Hampshire, visit my good friend Lloyd Murray at Long Gone Kennels. He's got setters that are incredibly good. So we're going to visit with Lloyd and we're going to see some great dog work. Not all of the film we took is shown because there were too many points. I couldn't get them all in a 29 minute TV show, but we've, we're going to see some good stuff. Enjoy. This is two time champion Long Gone Porky. He won the International Amateur Woodcock Championship. He won the Region 1 Walking Shooting Dog Championship, and he was runner-up in the New England Open Grouse Championship. So he's won on three different game birds, titles on quail, woodcock, and grouse. And we hunt the hell out of him. He's been a good dog. We breed him. I like his puppies. His daddy was champion Long Gone Boston. His daddy was Grand National Grouse Champion Crackling Tail Speed. Um, and... Boston's mama was eight-time champion, long gone Agnes. So uh, Porky's been a nice young dog for us. And now he's right in his prime right now. He's six. And um, he's just been a fun dog for us. I enjoy him a lot. Bird Dogs Field, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete and brought to you in part by Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiasts. Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, takes on the nuisance of foot odor. Thoroughgood, job fitted footwear handcrafted in America since 1892. Visit thoroughgoodusa.com for a dealer near you. Got a point here. Boop. Boop. I see him over there. Boop. Boop. Got him? Yeah, he's in front of me about 40 yards, facing towards the sun. Good boy. Whoop. I'm going to relocate him. Oh, buddy. Ooh. Good boy. Whoop. I'm guessing the bird's right there.
Here it goes. Went, boop, boop, went back by you, Pa. Boop, boop. He got up in front of my voice, but over by the dog. Whoop. I'm pretty sure he had it because he came up here and was all twisted. It will just go out and around this way. Hey, book. Just a real short break for a sponsor's message, and we'll be right back with more Long Gone Setters. Hi, folks. You know, if you have a new puppy, you need to be very, very attentive as to what you're feeding that puppy. Native puppy level three is what you need. It's a great start for your pup. None of the unwanted grains like soy, wheat, corn are in there. So puppy level three, and then from there you go on to the native level two, three, or four, whatever fits your schedule. Check it out. Puppy level three for your puppy. Life can take you down many roads. It can take you over mountain ranches, down deep valleys through plowed dirt, concrete, and steel, to a hard day's work. No matter where life takes you, it's taken one step at a time. Thorough good, an American company since 1892. Whoa. Got another point here by Porky. Whoa. Be careful coming down there. Okay. All right. Gotta find him first. Point. Boop. He's right there looking out over the top. If we're hunting, we're gonna get a shot at this bird. <laughs> Whoop. There it goes. Big hand. Whoop. That bird's in the pot. <laughs> Whoop. They're all in the pot. They're in training season. Hi, buddy. If I had you where I would have had you, that bird, eh, pork. that bird was so dead. It's a little, it's a little funny. There's a couple birds up here, so see if we can find them. Eh, pork. Whoop. Dog's right there, buried. Whoop, good boy, whoop. Bird just left, he stopped. Whoop. Whoop. Whoop, that's the one he was pointing. I just didn't flush over here. Park, heel, 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 good boy. Whoop, whoop, good boy, good boy, heel, heel, heel. Heel. All right. Ooh. I heard him stop up here in front of me somewhere. Oop. Oop, there he is. <laughs> Oop. Whoa, buddy. There it goes, I heard it. Off my left shoulder. Whoop. Whoop. Good boy. Whoop. Jumpy sound bitch. Whoop. Whoop. Oh buddy. 
Good boy. Good boy. Woo woo. Good boy. Heel. 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 Whoop. Whoop. Porky's on point right in front of me. Good boy. There it goes. Wow, went out low. Almost sounded like a grouse, but it wasn't. Ooh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, all right. Come on, buddy. This part of the brook always reminds me of the west branch of the Miramichi up at Hoot Smith's in Juniper, New Brunswick. I think he's on the edge of these alders somewhere. Ooh. Oop, there goes a bird. That dog's gotta be right here. I just heard a bird go. Oop, there he is. Dog's right there. You should have heard the whistle of the bird. Oop, good boy. I didn't want him coming way up here, but he did. Oop, good boy. Bird was under those pines. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Come on, buddy. Yep. He's dried up. Wet spots. There's no water this year, so normally, oh, there's borings. See the borings? Woodcock borings all through here. Boop. Pork stopped. To my right, in a jungle, see if we can find him. Boop. I don't use trackers, because the fun part is looking for him. Boop. I'm just gambling. This looks like the kind of place a woodcock would be. There goes the bird. Right from there, and there's my dog, right there. Good boy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm out of bullets. I've fired six times, so I'm going to whoop, clap my hand. Heel. Good boy. Alright. Let's get out of here, buddy. Let's get out of here. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Stop right in front of me. Should walk right into him here. There he is. I think we already pointed this bird. I don't know. Whoa, good boy. Whoop. 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 That bird was dead. Heel. 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 All right. I think I got that one, Paul. I should have. I heard it and saw it. It was right in front of Porky. I've been out of bullets for the last three finds. I was going to ask you if you 
I did way up in the back and I'm clapping my hands. I got the birds on film. Well, you had a lot of action going. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a bunch of birds up there. That's good. The tangles he was in a couple times, I walked up the bird, I couldn't find the dog, and I looked and the dog was right there. So I got the bird, then I got the dog. I'm gonna go up here and hook back. I just heard him. Yeah, he's right in front of me. I think the bird is gone. I saw a flash of something and I looked up so I might have it on the camera. I'm just gonna move him. Whoop. I think the bird is gone. And he knows it. All right. All right, buddy, we walked right by him. I didn't come in here. Yep. Because he had his first find this morning over there. Yeah. So. Yep. All right, buddy. Whoop, he didn't know it left. Do you see that bird go out? Yeah. I got it. Whoop. Whoop. He thinks it's still here. Um, you know what that bird is? That's the one I just walked up in the path over there, I'm guessing. Whoop. Now if it's a grouse trial, you're hoping for a sleeper. <laughs> He doesn't know what's gone. I saw that bird just flip out. A lot of guys would have shot at that bird, but he didn't point it. He stopped where he smelt that it left. He thinks it's still here. Now, if you okay. slow that down, I got that bird just going out through. Okay. Right. Now, I don't want him to move on his own. He's got to get it from me. It's gone, buddy. <laughs> it must have been here all morning. Maybe that wasn't the one. I just figured he can't understand why I'm sending him in. That's hot scent for him. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Hip. Hip. Fork. Hi, right, buddy. Look at the high bush cranberry get ready to come in. See it all green. Oh, yeah. Oh. Great grouse. Too. Oh, boy. Where we don't see a grouse all summer. You get around that high bush in the fall. It's a lot of birds in a short amount of time, right? Eleven birds yeah. in about 40 minutes. Just a real short break for a sponsor's message, and we'll be right back with more Long Gone Setters. Hi, friends. You know, whether you're a hiker, hunter, jogger, walker, all of those activities create sweat, and moisture in your footwear. That moisture leads to bacteria, mildew, mold, all bad things for your feet. To eliminate that moisture, you need a peat shoe dryer. The new PowerCell peat eliminates that moisture and creates a better atmosphere for good foot health. Hey this is Long Gone Daquan. He's five years old. He's by three-time runner-up champion Long Gone Studley, who was by Grand National Grouse Champion Long Gone Buckwheat. He's been a good dog for us. He's throwing some nice pups. I got a puppy out of him uh, named Juniper that I ran five times this spring, and she plays five times. Um, Quan won a big open shooting dog stake this spring. Porky was second. Um, 
So he's been a good trial dog for us, and he's been a good hunting dog for us, and he's been a good producer. He's a real sensible dog. I, I like him a lot. His mother is Phillips Half Moon, who's by Boston, who's a 10-time title winner, champion on grouse in Pennsylvania, national amateur grouse. She won a bunch of titles. She's won nine or 10 championship titles. Yep. Yeah, it's, no, it's nice. This is nice. Hey, buddy. Come on. <laughs> One. Whoop. 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 Dogs to my left. You can get a good shot of him right there. He's looking to the right. Oh, I'll go in and see what I can do. He's going to go in. He's going to get a flush. Very nice shot. Here it goes. Sounded like a big hand, but... Whoop. He saw it go. I just got a glimpse of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Heel, 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 heel. Certainly hear it. It sounded big. Yeah. Like an adult bird. Yeah. I didn't have a shot. But we'd have set it up a little different, honey. I'd have had you around the corner here. That's where we were this morning. We were just pointing them all along there. Yeah. Why are they not on this side? I don't know. Whoop. I think you get a picture. You can, yeah, get a picture of that. Okay, you move in a little closer. I'll get a picture of you getting a picture. That bird, I think you're going to get a shot. Whoop. Did you have a shot? I did. Yeah. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Good boy. Ah. All right. That was excellent. That was excellent. I had a like a station eight. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd have limited out this morning. <laughs> I think so. Okay, we just finished up our second dog. We ran on the other side this morning. We had about a dozen birds with Porky in less than an hour. And then we came over here with Quan. and this side has been a little thin. We only had like three finds. But we moved 15 birds. Um, nobody made any mistakes. Nobody was chasing birds around and stuff. It's nice and cool this morning, so the conditions are better. It's been really hot. It's been tough. But um, I'm real happy with where the dogs are at. I'm looking forward to hunting season. I think grouse numbers will be pretty good in the Northeast this year. Um, even though, We don't find grouse in these woodcock covers in the summer, but all of the food I'm seeing, so soon we're gonna have a bunch of high bush and uh, I think it's gonna be good. But um, I always end my episodes by saying, go Red Sox. <laughs> okay, need... go Red Sox. <laughs> oh. They they need the help this year, that's for sure. Oh, it's bad. Even the Patriots aren't looking so good. So yeah. enjoy your bird dogs. Forget about sports. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lloyd. Thanks, Paul. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Again, we, we truly enjoy visiting with Lloyd. He has a wealth of knowledge. 
He's got great bird dogs, and I thoroughly enjoy watching his dogs work, and I hope you did too. I hope to meet you in the field someday. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, and brought to you in part by Mud River Dog Products, Pete Shoe Dryer, and Thoroughgood Footwear.